Thomas, does it feel good to end the season on, on such a positive performance? Um, yeah, uh, very much. I think it was very, very key, very important for me, for us, to keep the momentum, the tempo in the team, the intensity in the team, and, and ending on a high. We um, we spoke uh, 12 games ago after the Norwich defeat, um, uh, the players and I and the staff that okay, if we can get 24 points in the last 20, last 12 games, two points on average, which is a very high average, then we thought we would be absolutely fine. We did that uh, with the win today, um, and on top of that, let's just acknowledge how well Watford did in the last final bit. But we got 87 points, which in eight of the last 17 season would have been automatic promotion. We um, scored the most goals in the league, second year in a row. We created a top score, second year in a row. Now we just had a top score, broke the record. We um, got the fewest defeat together with Norwich. We got the second best goal difference. That is just an unbelievable achievement and performance. And then unfortunately, the, the final black and white margins, we didn't get that through the automatic. But look at all everything else, I think the fans should be hugely proud, hugely proud of this club and these players. Um, so now we'll get a beer or two, rest for three days, and then we will attack with everything we have in us, the playoffs, with big belief. How proud of you were you to see Ivan Tony break that record and score 31 goals this season? I think it's... It's a, it's a remarkable uh, achievement. I think it tells everything about about Ivan, uh, but I also think it tells everything about the team, because I think it shows that we managed uh, the last two seasons to score the most, you know, goals in the league. It, it, you know, that's a, a, a good example of and a good um, proof of how we want to uh, approach the games, how we want to attack, uh, and that helps. Uh, the good strikers and Ivan is a fantastic striker with an unbelievable mindset but also hugely hugely on the togetherness because if we have a, a striker who plays for himself we would never achieve anything together but he played he play for the team. And of course it's good to see that the squad came through the game relatively in good shape obviously Ethan came off at half time we presume that was a planned move? That was a planned move yeah Ethan got a minor injury in the end of the Rotherham game that's why he didn't play against Watford uh, so today he could have played 90 if you know we wanted to push it, uh, but we just wanted 45 minutes max exposure, um, and then he's ready to uh, to train fully Wednesday and and, 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 and ready for the Bills. And obviously, in terms of squad players, you've got the likes of Rico and Henrik still sitting out these games, but how close are they to, to playing some part in the playoffs? Yeah, I think uh, Rico is the closest one. Um, it will be um, a race with time, uh, but. Uh, He's training very hard and uh, we're crossing our fingers and hope he's available. And obviously the main thing about the next few games is that you will see fans back in the stadiums. How much of a difference do you think that will make? I oh, can't wait. Honestly, I can't, I can't stop smiling, can't wait because it's going to be so important to do, to do it together with the fans, fight together with the fans. In terms of the, the opponents in the playoffs, it means that Bournemouth today have secured that. Looking forward to that one? Uh, yeah, I, I was looking forward to, no, you know, no matter who we are facing in the playoffs. I think Bournemouth, Barnsley and Swansea are three very strong opponents. I think, of course, it's a, a tiny bit different in the level, but I think it's comparing the Champions League semi-finals, Chelsea versus Real Madrid, Man City versus PSG, that it's the finest, finest margins that decide which team was going to the final, and be exactly the same this time. Uh, we are facing Bournemouth, top, top team, relegate from Premier League, it will be down to the last minute of the of the second leg, but you will be ready for it. Thank you. You're welcome.